everybody, it's Monty. Now, we're working on Mafia. So remember, Spokane Public Schools, got to find the digital tools, you got to find your Clever account, you got to go find the CL button. If you haven't done it or you didn't bookmark it, it's under Math. Once you click there, you're going to go and you need to click on the Mafia icon. All right. Once you're in here, we finish reasoning with shapes. Now, excuse me. Once you're here, we finished getting started. If you're keeping up with this process, we finished Unit 1, the formal and informal geometric thinking, which was points, lines, rays, segment notation, and measures. Okay? So now we are Mafia M1. Unit 2, slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines, okay? Now again, we're at all different skill levels in math, so this might be new for some of you with the vocabulary. Click on Let's Go. Move my head out of the way. So we got this idea of slope. Rise over run, the perpendicular, the parallel, and the slope. Let's get an introduction. All right. Let's find this animation of slopes and perpendicular. Here we have formed a coordinate plane. And there's a point located right here. We don't know the exact location, but we do know that the point is located at x, y. It is x units to the right of the origin, and y units up. If we draw a line through this point and the origin, that line would have a certain slope. Again, we don't know exactly what that slope is, but we know that the slope is y over x. Now let's rotate the point 90 degrees counterclockwise. The point ends up here. What is this location? It's y units to the left of the origin, so its first coordinate is negative y. And it's x units up from the origin, so its second coordinate is positive x. So the rotated point is at negative y, x. If we draw a line through this point and the origin, that line would be a 90 degree rotation of the first line. The two lines form a 90 degree angle. And this second line has a slope of x over negative y. So there seems to be a pattern in the slopes of perpendicular lines. Can you see what it is? Do you think this pattern is true for all perpendicular lines in the coordinate plane? Okay, from that, the original point is located at a, b and is rotated 90 degrees, which has the coordinates. Flip it. Negative b negative b comma a negative b comma a the coordinates of point m are going to go back to negative x negative Here y we have formed a coordinate oops, negative okay negative pq negative qp negative q negative p. And the slope of the line is the rise over the run, p over q. Point m is rotated 90 degrees clockwise to point n. So now we're going to go back over here. Okay, So now we had negative q, p. Now we have p, negative q. P, negative Q. Okay, if you rotate another 90 degrees, then you're going to go back to the origin. What are the patterns you notice? If you notice, you rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise to the origin, the point becomes A. The slopes are perpendicular, switching the coordinates, switching the coordinates and reversing the sign. The slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. Okay, now this is going to be like the hardest thing you've done all year. Okay, so let's just clear this, clear this, and draw this. Okay, Okay. so 
So let's go one, two, one. Okay, we'll call this P Q. And we'll also call it one, comma, two. Okay, now we're going to rotate. Well, if it's one, comma, two, and we rotate it, you see how it's going to go up here? Now it's one, excuse me, two comma one. I did that backwards, sorry. Two comma one, two comma one. And when we rotate it, it's going to be one comma two, but it's on the other side of the origin. So negative one, two. So Q, P, negative Q comma P. Okay, let's rotate again. Now it's going to come over here, and it's going to go back to here. So now negative 2, negative 1, and negative 2, 1. So now we're going to have negative P, negative Q. All right? And then we rotate it one more time, and we're going to go down, up, up, down over. And this will be 1, comma, negative 2, 1, comma, negative 2. So in other words, 1, 1. So it's going to be Q, comma, negative P. Now notice we have a square that's been tipped. And that's 90, 90, 90, 90. So now finally, the slope of this is the rise over the run. Slope of this side, these are parallel. 2 over 1. This guy is up 1 over 2, parallel to this guy, up 1 over 2. Okay? So hopefully that was helpful. That will be probably the toughest thing we do for a long time. Okay? All right. Okay, so now we've got the graph and the four linear functions, and we're going to use these lines, okay, to answer these questions. Consider the two linear functions, 2 of x and 2x minus 10. So f of x, f of x is 2x, 2x, okay, so this one right here, 2x and 2x minus 10. So the green lines. Now, here's where... Balancing the equation comes in, all right? So let's pop this up. Bring them over here. So balancing the equation. 2x equals 2x minus 10. What we did was set f of x equal to g of x. Okay? So now they subtracted 2x from both sides. We're going to get all the letters to the same side. Draw our line. 2x minus 2x goes away. 2x minus 2x goes away. So we have 0 equals negative 10x. So right here, in order to move this, we had to add 2x to both sides. Now we have 0 equals negative 10. The equation is a true is not true. Zero cannot be equal to. Okay, it means that the two lines described are parallel. Parallel. If they're parallel lines, the two green lines never intersect. Okay? Not true. They are parallel lines. All right. And again, we'll be doing those in class to help out with this whole balancing the equation. Now remember, you can always click on the hint button. Consider the two functions, two-thirds x and two-thirds x, determine that the two functions intersect and where they intersect. So, now, negative two-thirds x, rise over run, down two over three. Down two over three. This brown line, this brown line, crosses at the origin is H, that brown line. Now, up 
2, 1, 2 over 3. This brown line represents j of x, so this would be at the y-intercept of 10. Set them equal to each other. So now x equals, x equals, we're trying to get rid of this 3 halves, okay? So let's do that, okay? All right, so now negative 2 thirds x equals 2 thirds x plus 10. Well, they want to get x by itself. Well, I've got to multiply by something to get rid of negative 2 thirds. Well, it turns out if we multiply by the negative reciprocal, multiply both sides by the negative reciprocal it's called. Now watch this. What's negative times a negative? Positive. What's 2 times 3? What's 2 times 3? Okay, so now we have this negative 3 halves, that's this, times the whole thing, 2 over 3x plus 10. Alright, what's 6 divided by 6? Good, it's 1. All right, x equals, now we've got to multiply this all the way through. Now before I do that, I'm going to show negative 3 divided by 2, okay? So that's gone. Now, I've got to distribute this to this, negative 6, this to this, 6, x plus this times this, negative 30 over 2. Okay? I didn't need to do that, did I? Alright. So now, let's smooth this up. Okay, so now, negative x equals negative x minus 15. You see how that's a negative 1? And you see how that becomes negative 15? Okay, so x minus x minus 15, x minus x minus 15. Balance the equation. We've got to move this x to the other side. Add an x, add an x. So now we have 2x equals negative 15. So I'm going to go x plus... Okay, so they already did it, so we're going to go 2x. And again, you could always hit the hint button. And x equals negative 15 over 2. Don't stress if you don't have a calculator. Negative 15 slash 2. All right. The equation is true for one value of x. And describes the function intersects at... They're not parallel, they're the same way. They are perpendicular. Have an intersection point so they are not parallel. Okay, okay, sorry, my bad. Which patterns do you notice? Slopes of parallel are the negative reciprocals. Slopes of parallel lines. Sorry, sorry. Slopes of parallel lines are equal. Okay. I thought we were talking about perpendicular. Ah. All right. So that was 14 minutes. Okay. Some of these assignments will take longer. See you after a while.